All right, Shalom, Yasharallah, peace is all first and foremost. As always, we want to give our praises in honor and glorification due to Yahweh, Hashem, Al Shabbat, Hashem, Kakadash. Double honor to our elders, Apostle, our great Nelson Jemis, who will well, and our peace and blessings to the hopefully like Akiam out there laboring in this ministry, pushing this gospel all across the globe in righteousness, in sincerity, and in truth. And also, Shalom to the Akiam, Wakwa, peace and blessings to the brethren and sisters that the Lord Yahweh shall allow to come to this wonderful gospel, this wonderful council. council. You know, uh, uh, Yahweh, that's the Hebrew name of whom the world is going to call God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh means he is, he to be, he exists, the being that existed before time, also known as the Shed of Days, in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. That's the Hebrew name of his beloved son, whom the world is going to call Jesus Christ. Yahweh means he who saved, he who deliver, the savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Baha Shom. Baha, which means in the Sham, Ni, we call Spirit of Dashuli. In the name of the Holy Spirit, which pretty much allow us to be able to understand this wonderful gospel. This is in the Paleo Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, the last one, Kodash, the Holy Tongue, the language that Yahweh Shai spoke to Saul on his way to Damascus, the language of the heavens, and once again to worry how Shai for allowing us to be able to understand this wonderful gospel. I'm Bonner War. The brother Taz War. So we too I come here from the GMS Boston Cape, linking up to do a short lesson to the spirit of Yahweh and Shai and Law Walling is out of fine. We just want to go over this article, right? Because um desperate times calls for desperate measures. And That's you see right. these devils they are they are in a panic mode because now more than ever people are aware of the agenda. So now they're having a hard time to pretty much push the new world order agenda. You know, That's who right. know they have a, a what do you call the Georgia Guidestone to reduce the world population to 500 million people. And we know the people that they're trying to get rid of are so called black Hispanics and uh, Native Americans, man. You are the Israelites, God chosen people. And this devil know f f well, he fully, that he can establish his new world order with you in the midst. So his whole mindset. He's hell bit on trying to get rid of you, man. That's right. I mean, ultimately, it goes back to the blessing, man. You know, because, uh, the scripture says on Genesis 27 and verse 42, I think, Esau hated Jacob for his for the blessing, wherewith he's for the blessing. And Esau said in his heart, the day of mourning for my father's at hand, then would I slay my brother Jacob. And that's exactly the mind frame of his devil still today, man. That's right. You want uh, yeah, uh, yeah, um... So you can see with this article, ultimately that, again, like the brother said, desperate time calls for desperate measures. Uh, these elites, you know, Esau, Edom, and they know that there's going to be a, a group or a resistance of people, a rebellion that's not willing to take the Maxine. And we know we say Maxine just yeah. to be cold word for you know what. But, uh, you know, so Joe Biden uh, a couple of days ago had a conference talking about that he urges the uh, uh, you know, the, the big leaders and even religious church groups to start pushing on their congregation and just the people to just take this vaccination, man. So we could just see through the spirit that, hey, uh, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. They're going to come with the craftiness. They're going to come with the smooth words to try to deceive the masses on taking this uh, uh, this jab. But ultimately, it's part of their New World Order agenda, like the brother mentioned, you know, the Georgia Guidestones, you know, uh, global uh, the population so what we have here is a, a quick article matter of fact let's start with a scripture because mm -hmm. we've been you know talking um i'll start off with uh second corinthians 2 and 11 and it reads uh lest satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices yeah because yeah we we hit your agenda we know what your devils are up to man the That's lord right. pretty much revealed his secret unto us we know you are your we know you are our enemies, man. That's right. You know, and we know you plan to get rid of us. So That's guess right. what? You can no longer deceive us like he used to in the past. Why? Because the Lord is uh, working. That's right. How about Shemeshai is, is working with us so we can see clearly, man. So, so, you know, you yeah, know? We, we know the plots and the, the the snares and the traps of our enemy. You know, and you look at the track record of the so-called white man. He always have tried to uh, uh, act like he was for us and help us. And he, he destroyed us as a nation through chemical warfare. Whether it was the Indians when he gave, with so-called Indians, you know, the, 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 the Gad and Reuben, you know, the smallpox through blankets. You know, they have always uh, came with 
some type of chemical or some type of disease to destroy us as a nation, whether it's crack cocaine in the hood or, you know, HIV, you know, they always find ways to destroy us as a nation. So we're not ignorant of his devices. You know, Satan, Esau, Edom is the, the physical form of Satan. You know, and his devices go back to his evil plots, his agenda. And we know that New World Order agenda they're trying to fulfill in these latter days, man. So I got here from what well, we got here from an article. It's from um not an article. It's from um IG Instagram. It's a it's a a, a brother's page. Well, when I say brother, it's just a, a, a what do you call it? Alternative news mm. brother media mm. outlet dude. And he's always been he's on point, man. And we believe he's a Jake. You know, it's Freedom underscore Faction. And uh, his uh, article reads: Franklin Graham urges cler clergy to support. Crown 19 Maxines says Jesus would have used them too. Mm -hmm. See, so there, there goes the deception right there. Mm -hmm. You know, these church pastors and, and these uh, uh, leaders in these church are going to deceive uh, many with their smooth sayings and their vain babbling, you know. And this is why the scripture says in Jeremiah 23, if we can get that, woe unto you pastors, man. But uh, continuing on. Mm -hmm. That destroys it's kind of a sheep. Yep, My yep. pastor shall serve the Lord, you know? Con, con. Yeah, we'll because, get that. like, if I may, I real, oh, you get it right? right? Because, uh, yeah, if I may, I real quick, right? These pastors pretty much was set up by Esau to push his agenda, and they are under uh, what you call a, a 501 yep, tax uh, charter, which mm -hmm. pretty much they can, uh, they have to pretty much obey the law of Esau. They, got, they have to, the whatever law of Esau the is pushing yep. for, they have to. What, be with it, you know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what they were set up to do. You know? That's right. It's just, it, I, I'll bring it up. Jeremiah 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said the Lord, God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing said the lord and i will gather the remnant remnant of my flock out of all countries whether i have driven them and will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase yeah because like ultimately you 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 you, you fake as preachers guess what you're gonna be judged for your wickedness man mm -hmm. no matter what you do no matter your agenda guess what you're not gonna be able to pretty much destroy the elect the elect of yahweh they're gonna be gathered no matter what man yeah. they're gonna be they all gonna be accounted for you know yeah those remnant is not going to be ignorant of satan's devices as we brought out in second corinthians man right. you know but again you pastors are set up to to lead the the the, the uh the the flock astray man and that's why it says woe be unto you pastors that's death and destruction that comes upon you but i'm gonna continue on to this um article uh with some americans feeling hesitant about getting a crown 19 shot evangelist Franklin Graham is urging pastors to encourage their congregations to trust in the Maxines. Graham, the president and CEO of the Billy Graham Evangelist Association and Samaritan's Purse, told ABC News that there could be harmful consequences if pastors discourage church members from receiving the shot. I would hope that the pastors in the pulpit would tell people how they can be saved from God's judgment, Graham said. I think for a pastor to tell someone not to take the vaccine is problematic because what would happen if that person got the, uh, the virus and died? I think if there were vaccines available in the time of Christ, Jesus would have made reference to them and have used them, he added. No, that just hey, that just proves there goes the, the 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 cunning devil trying to use uh even though we know the the Lord's name is not Jesus, but he he's gonna try to use uh 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 uh, uh that name to 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 pretty much to sway the simple on taking that uh yeah. that that shot, man. Yeah, it says uh the scripture says uh by smooth words in in fair speeches, he shall deceive the mind of the simple man. That's right. And that's exactly what they what they doing, man. Uh, these devils, they they know, man. People are hip to the agenda, and they pretty much uh going all out. They trying to cover every avenue that they cannot that can, that they think of to pretty much uh uh to deceive uh uh you people out there, man. And that's right. You Israelites, you so called black Hispanics, 
and Native Americans, you are the main target, man. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we already know it's been uh, they've been they've been saying it out their own mouths. Whether it's the Bill Gates or Melinda Gates, uh, or you know uh, what is it, uh, Governor Cuomo? Um, uh, what's the other dude uh, with the glasses? Uh, man, the doctor. Uh, Fauci, Dr. Fauci. Fauci, yeah, they already had came out their own mouth said that they want to uh, uh, issue this vaccination first for the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. So this is ultimately for uh, uh, you, Jakes, man. And and who's really in these churches? You know, it's it's mainly Jake. Jake mm -hmm. really are the ones that have faith in the Lord. So they're gonna try to persuade, you know, deceive many as oh well, if Jesus was alive, he would have taken it. So it's trying to, you know, to, to deceive you on that. You should look forward on taking it, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, matter of fact, I've got, I have a prayer real quick. Uh, Psalms 27. Uh, Psalms 27 verse. Uh, Want me to continue while you look for you it? Got it? You got it, bro. In a Facebook post earlier this month, Graham praised God for positive achievements that have occurred over the past year. I'm thankful to God that we are seeing a decline in the Crown 19 cases and that steps are being taken to open our economy back up. Get people back to work and get children back to school. We thank God for these steps forward. Continue to pray for our nation. And, they, you know, they thank the Lord that they think that this place is going to heal up. But this is ultimately the will of the Heavenly Father to bring this pestilence, to mm -hmm. bring destruction, to bring mass death and, 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 and turmoil. This is the will of the Heavenly Father. See, these guys, they claim they know the Most High. They honor Him with their lips, but their heart is far from Him. I have that, but, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. if you had a precept. No, if you bring it out. Yeah, I'll bring that real quick. Matthew 15. So like, uh, Matthew 15 verse 8 This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth And honor me with their lips But their heart is far from me But in vain they do worship me Teaching for doctrines The, the commandments of men Yeah that's exactly what it is That's what these are false uh, pastors Was it up to the men uh, 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 They proclaim to know the Lord You know what I'm saying But in, in, in their mind Guess what they have their own agenda They, mm -hmm. don't, they don't do abide to any standard that the Bible stand for, man, they, right. they they bring you your their own uh, uh, personal opinion, no? That's right, their own vain thoughts, commandments mm -hmm. of men. That's right. Uh, same chapter, jumping down to verse fourteen, Matthew fifteen and verse fourteen. Let them alone; they be blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So if you are gullible to fall for the smooth sayings, and, and you think that if if our Lord and Savior was here on the planet today, he would have took the vaccine and you simple minded thinking that was possible and you're going to just take it by listening to these words. Hey, you're going to fall in the ditch, man. You're being led by the blind. We are the one that had the light. We're telling you to not fall for the snares, the tricks and the traps of these damn devils, man. Mm. You know that there's a law at Leviticus. You should not make any cutting of the flesh. So if you're taking this uh, vaccination, they're going to have to make a cut into your flesh regardless, man. So that's a that's a sin, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a sin. What your death? That's right. This is a uh, this is a uh, Psalms twenty seven verse uh, verse twelve. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnash upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him for he see if his day is coming. You know, that's like what it is, right? The wicked is who Esau, man. He plotteth, man. He has law legislation in the book to pretty much come against the so called black Hispanics and Native Americans, man. Because uh, there's gonna come a time, man. Pretty soon, you won't be able to uh, to go to a store to to get something for your family if you don't get the the jab, man. That's, that's how right. that's how bad, that's how chaotic, that's how uncomfortable this devil gonna make it for you for you Israelites, man. Con, and we push through the spirit like you gotta treat. Uh, 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 not taking this vaccine or the jab as the same uh, 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 same uh, impact as not taking the um, the RFID chip, That's the right. mark of the beast. Man, these are precursors to see: Are you willing to mm. submit yourself to bow, to bow down to what the government says, what your oppressor says? Mm. We're telling you, it's a trip, it's a snare, it's a trap. So you gotta treat this vaccine the same way and same urgency of the RFID chip, man. Mm. Don't trust in these uh, uh, devils, man. As the scripture says, never trust thy enemy, man. That's right. So Revelation. 12 verse 12 therefore rejoice the heavens and ye that will in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devils come down unto you having great wrath because you know if that he had but a short time you know hey that's exactly what it is man the devil is who Esau man the, the late man 
really when you go deeper this agenda that they're pushing for come from the elite man that's what they they want man you know why because they know that they have what a short time or short time for what a short time to war because this thing of us is all about rulership mm -hmm. power and dominion right the scripture says on second as six verse seven uh for on uh, verse nine for esau is the end of the world and jacob is the, the beginning, beginning of it that follow so these devils they know that they are on the last leg they are about to go but they're not gonna willingly bow down they're gonna fight tooth and nail to preserve the power man that's even right. if it means to destroy you israelites they would it man that's right you know yeah so all these these pastors and these leaders hey they if they're pushing a hey, pushing this um this agenda fervently hey man it just proves that they are being told from the higher ups that it's time and it's ultimately it's because esau is de is 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 desperate. is desperate man he knows there's going to be a resistance there's going to be rebellion so they they just want this agenda that 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 first uh, um that first guideline or that guidestone to be fulfilled in a depopulation and this is part of it you know and this is why we say you know we uh, we stay away stay away from these pastors man avoid them man let them alone as the scripture says isaiah 9 verse 16 for the leaders of this people cause them to err and they that are led of them are destroyed mm -hmm. see so these leaders the people that you look up to pastors or even uh, uh activists people that you think that's uh uh uh, in a high place and they if they telling you to push this um this maxine like i was on i was watching uh highlights uh in, in um like espn and then i see uh legends you know according to the you know the nba world you know like kareem abdul jabbar bill russell all these uh dr j they're taking they have a commercial pushing mm. to take this jab man so even these leaders people that you think are in high places whether it's in the churches the government entertainment world uh you know sports world these leaders are causing uh jakes to err man yeah. and they said if you follow after them you're going to be destroyed man yeah if i'm here right we know this this satan's world right this is esau's world so if you successful that's because esau allow you to be successful and guess what? You gotta have to push his agenda. So That's right. the celebrities that you see out there, uh, pretty, pretty much encouraging you to take the jab. Guess what? They they are ordained by Esau to do that. Man. Yeah, they're holding uh, Satan's end of the bargain. Man. That's right. You made a covenant, a pact with with the devil. Esau, Edom, through Satan. Now mm -hmm. you gotta hold up your end of the bargain. Yeah, Satan has an agenda to put to push now, and now you gotta be front line for him. That's and right. this again, it goes back to second. Uh, 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 Corinthians, uh, yeah, Corinthians two and eleven. Uh, for we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, but some, most are gonna be uh, uh, deceived. They're gonna fall for that trap, you know, mm -hmm. and they're gonna, it's gonna lead to their destruction. But we're here to give you that warning to pretty much wash the blood off our hands, man. Yeah, come on. Um, just to back you up, right? It's uh, Isaiah 28, verse 15. Because he have said, we have made a covenant with death, mm. and we've held our we in agreement when. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies a refuge, and on the falsehood have we hid ourselves. And pretty much that's uh, that's what these uh, these uh, pastors, celebrities, that's what they are. They are in a covenant uh, agreement with Esau Edom to push his agenda, and pretty much Esau's agenda gonna lead you to death man there's nothing good that by uh, uh that's gonna come off by you trusting these devils man that's right you know, they're gonna lead you to your own destruction man because they are not for your own good they are your enemies man what makes you think your enemy is gonna gonna have pity upon you man you that's know? right that's right you know uh one more piece is uh huh. it's uh, uh revelation 12 verse 17 and the dragon was wrath of the woman so we know the woman is who the nation of israel is so-called black hispanics and uh, Native Americans, the scripture says, uh, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. You know, the dragon is who? The dragon is Esau, man. You know, Rome 2.0, which is uh, uh, being spearheaded by, by America. It says, uh, uh, Revelation 12, verse 17, and the dragon was rough of the woman. Rough, right? Angry. You know what I'm saying? A gun blazing. He's going, uh, Esau knows he has about a short time. He's not going to go down peacefully man he's gonna fight he's gonna uh make laws to pretty much declare war on, on our tribes you That's know right. and way to make war with the remnant of a seed which keep the commandment of the most high and have the testimony of yahweh shai so ultimately what these devils are afraid of are the prophecies man we know pursuant to revelation 19 verse 10 the testimony of yahweh shai is the spirit, the spirit of, prophecy. of prophecy and these devils see the prophecies are becoming more and more evident 
now guess what now they have they got to make the movement the right. house shares on his way and that's yeah. exactly why you see the coming flaws in legislation as a means of justification to come against you so-called black hispanics and our native americans which are indeed the hebrew israelites man in in our job our own service it's pretty much give you warning to uh, to to let you know to warn you of the danger that's ahead man so when all hell be close you can say they know the scripture says uh then shall they know that a prophet was among them you know and oh. that's exactly what it is man so that was a a, a, a lesson yeah. you know we hope this was edifying we want to give our praises and honor and glorification due to Yahweh. Double honor to our elders, Apostle Great Milson GMS, who will walk and our peace and blessings to the hopefully like Akiam out there pushing his gospel all across the globe in righteousness, in sincerity and truth. On the next time, Shalom. Shalom.